guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, today we have the new Piccolo, who is very, very good. This is going to be, I think, a strong defensive support type unit, who, despite how defensive he is, he's capable of doing some decent 4 million attack stats. I'll definitely take that for a, like, a, a support type unit that's tanky. Sure. You know, I, I'll always say with this type of character, take away damage and give him more defense, but... I mean, with guard and damage reduction, this Piccolo, I think, is fairly solid here. Um, okay, so I'm going to go and give him the Rainbow Star. I did give him full dodge. I know people are going to be mad, like always, but this is a defensive support type. This is not LR Final Form Cooler, right? Like, this is a defensive support type unit. I want him to tank his, the, to his best ability. He will tank very good if he gets hit with a super attack, but if he dodges it, he'll take even less damage. So I like that decision to give him full dodge. Um, so we got our boy Rainbow. Let me go ahead and link level him. Um, and then we will see how good our boy Piccolo can be. Um, uh, Rainbow at link level 10. All right, guys. So we are here in an event. We have our boy Piccolo fully link leveled, fully ready to go. Now, I did give Piccolo full dodge. Now, a lot of people always put on the waterworks when I do stuff like this. Wah, wah, wah. I feel like usually my decisions end up correct on a lot of these characters, right? Majin Vegeta has evolved into a real defensive weapon. Again, I feel like building it defensively is the best way to go. Now, with this Piccolo, there is one thing I should explain here. So, Piccolo, right? Um, in order to be at his maximum defensive ability, he does have to sort of, like, receive an attack, right? So, uh, the way... Okay, how, how is it worded, right? Um, Piccolo gets uh, the 15% damage reduction per movie hero category ally attacking in the same turn when guard is activated. Now, that's important right there. That ability, when guard is activated, can be procced with a dodge. So, LR Grade 8 Vegeta, Int Janemba, this Piccolo, we could dodge, and then they will still, the damage reduction will still kick in for the next hit, right? So, it's not one of these things where Piccolo will dodge, and then, you know, he dodges a normal attack, and then he eats a super attack from a boss, right? But then he doesn't have the damage reduction up because he dodged the first attack. That won't happen. Piccolo does have a separate buff, 50% attack and defense and medium chance to crit for three turns after receiving an attack. That one he does have to get hit for, right? But the damage reduction, the more important part, he dodges and then it procs, right? It's, it's still procs because it's only when guard is activated. So I do like dodge. This, this is a character, when you have a character like this Piccolo, this guy is not here to do tons of damage. Don't fall into the trap. Don't be deceived by people who go damage, 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 crit. Give them crit, 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 additional. Like, that's not how you're going to win against a lot of these tough bosses, right? This character, this Piccolo, is an amazing character. He's probably borderline like a top 10 unit in the game. He's up there. I think he's very good. Um, but it's like he's a defense and support type unit. That's what he is, right? He's giving super class allies support buffs. He's going to be tanking very well with his guard and his damage reduction. Maybe you can make a case for him with additional, since he does get 30% attack and defense for the turn and seal on his super attack. But I do really like this guy. Um, I think he's tremendous, and I really do like the idea of going full dodge on him, because the point of him is he's here to make you know any movie hero character, potentially Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo in the future, look a lot better with his support and his links. And then we just don't want him to die, right? I'm sure Orange Piccolo, Beast Gohan, these types of characters will be just beasts offensively and defensively. And this Piccolo will be here to make them better. Now, we should, I guess, talk about his links real fast before we jump in. This, okay. So his links, Brainiacs, Prodigies, Experienced Fighters, Solid Support, Namekian, Gaze of Respect, and Fierce Battle. Now, now let, let's look at this. These are Piccolo's top partners right now. You have this Transform Piccolo, this Transform Piccolo. These guys are ass. You're not running them. LR Tapian and Minosha does not support Movie Hero for some bizarre reason, so no. Uh, this guy sucks, and he's an Other World Warrior unit, right? Very quickly, you guys can see that there there is no partner for Piccolo, right? Like, that, like it's, it, it, it's empty. His Link set is pretty bad for what we want to go with. However, I'm sure Orange Piccolo, Beast Gohan, Dragon Ball Super Superhero characters probably might have similar links here. This guy is, to me, I read him as huge setup for when they drop movie stuff. Again, there's 
Piccolo's Power Awakening form. There's going to be Ultimate Gohan from the movie, Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, Gamma 1 and 2, all these characters. This Piccolo is probably going to be a huge asset to all those characters. So he's really good right now. He's going to be even better in a couple of months when we get superhero stuff, right? So let's see how he does. Um, again, he needs to get hit first to activate like true attack and defensive buffs. Um, but if he dodges, we still get his damage reduction, right? Uh, procced. Remember, his damage reduction is 15% damage reduction per movie hero category ally in the same turn. So we do want to use him more so with movie hero characters. That is very, very important, right? Uh, we want Pycon's support. No, 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 no. We want Pycon's support right here. So let me just do a little orb change. And perfect. All right, so let's see what Piccolo looks like right here. So we have a little bit of support from Pycon. We have what? Just experience fighters and fierce battle activated. I really got to get like a Brainiac's character next to him. Gaze of respect we're not getting. But uh, again, I think there's a huge chance that like Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan could have Gaze of respect. I I don't think Beast Gohan getting Gaze of respect would be a negative, by the way. Um, because right now there, there are some... AGL Kid Gohan, I guess he's decent. He has it. And this Piccolo has it. But if they give it to, like, the movie Ultimate Gohan, Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, all of a sudden it could become a top-tier link, right? If a bunch of characters we're using together have it, it it'll be good, right? Um, in the past, Gaze of Respect has sucked balls, but it could be crazy with the superhero characters, right? All right, so 176, let's go ahead and see what Piccolo does right here. Remember, Piccolo's more of a defensive unit, a support-type unit, right? So it's like, you don't want to look at just, like, his raw defense and then go, oh, okay, he's good or bad, or his attack stats and go, oh, he's good or bad, right? Remember, it's like he's supporting the rotation, right? He's going to be um, very effective in the very difficult fights, right? This guy can live a super attack from Cell Max. He could live a super attack from other, like, very, very strong bosses, you know, Red Zone Broly. Like, that's what this Piccolo is designed to do is to really do battle with these huge bosses and then support movie hero characters, right? The movie hero team is just so crazy. And it's like, it, it's so crazy prior to the superhero characters coming in, right? And, and it's like, I, I feel like it's so relevant to talk about superhero stuff in context with this Piccolo. Because again, you look at his link set, this is the thing, Piccolo characters have never had a chance to shine up until now. The reason for this is because it's always just been Piccolo, right? Piccolo, they've always given him a link set that only works well with himself, but he can't link with himself. Well, now we're about to get two new forms for Piccolo, right? Which is going to just, it's going to open Piccolo up in Dokkan so much, right? They could drop a potential another Dokkan Fest Piccolo from outside of the movie or something like that. Like, it looks good. Because I think Dokkan, they made a mistake by not separating Piccolo, because there's Piccolo from, you know, when he's born after King Piccolo is killed, um, all the way up until his arrival on Planet Namek. That's basically a Piccolo. Then Piccolo, like, kind of, like, uh, absorbs Nail, fuses with Nail, whatever the hell you want to call it, until midway through the Cell Saga, and then he absorbs um, uh, Kami, right? Same sort of thing. So it's like they, there should have been Piccolo, then, like, Piccolo Nail, like, synced, or Nail absorbed, or Nail fused, and then Piccolo Kami absorbed, or Kami fused. Like, they really should have had the separate names in that way. It would have done a lot better throughout the years for Piccolo up to this point. Where it's not going to be an issue after the superhero characters come out, but, you know, that's something that could have been up to this point. Wow, 290. Yeah, look how impactful that buff is. The 50% attack and defense and 30% chance to crit for three turns. It's very impactful. And, dude, I I'm telling y'all, imagine, right? Like, right now, we have experienced fighters and fierce battle. Brainiacs. 15% attack and defense. Gaze of Respect, 2 key, 10% attack and defense. Namekian, 7 HP, 7% attack and defense. Dude, we have those three activated with him right now. Like, he's rocking, like, 400k defense with guard, damage reduction, and he's supporting. Right? Like, I'm I, I am pleading with y'all to understand that this Piccolo is a god. And he is only going to get better when we have characters who can really, he can benefit it with. So, like, the, the, really do not sleep on this. If you pull this guy, he is a lord of this game. I... I do think he's the best Vanny unit. Better than even Raccoon and Goldo. I do. I, like, I'll, I'm probably... I'm going to wait to do tier list. Um, I, I don't want to, like, overdo it with the tier list. So, um, before... I'm going to probably do an update for banner units. 
EZATURs and LRs, but I'm going to do it after the part two stuff drops, right? So there will be a part two Banny unit. There will probably be like EZATURs for part two. And then, of course, the LRs for part two. And we'll I'll, I'll just redo all these lists. But um, a lot of these uh, characters that are coming out during the celebration have been very, very impressive, right? So, all right, that, that's pretty good. Already, we've basically seen what we need to see from this Piccolo, right? Very strong. Maybe let's do um, a run against a tough boss. I don't know. We'll, we'll hop into like a red zone fight or something like that. Let's do a cooler. Cooler is tough. A short, tough fight against cooler. We'll see how Piccolo handles it in there. But yeah, man, this Piccolo is explosive. Support, defense. I, I just really like what they're doing with him. Oh, he does get 100% defense against two or more enemies. And he gets 50% attack and defense against one enemy. Let's check that out. Let's see what he looks like with the extra defense against two or more enemies, and then we'll fight Red Zone Cooler. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see what we got right here uh, <clears throat> from our boy Piccolo. So, again, Piccolo gets 50% attack and defense when he's facing one enemy, and then he gets another 100% defense against two or more enemies. So we're going to have access to that right here. So up to 277. Okay. Let's see what happens once we get uh, the PyCon support up also, right? So we'll go ahead and drop PyCon support right here. Um, and then let's see what Piccolo's defense jumps up to. Now he's at 296. Um, we could get a little bit higher even if we had, like, the support from the um, uh, the movie hero support uh, uh, Gohan as well, right? But yeah, this Piccolo is solid. We do have Piccolo's buff up as well. The 50% attack and events for three turns. That is currently up, which we can see right there. 3.57. So, yeah, I think we're going to go into a lot of fights with this Piccolo um, where he defensively will work well. He, he even has this. Notice he can seal, too, right? He gets 30% attack and defense and seal. That can be very handy um, in not only Super Battle Road stages, but also Dokkan Battlefield. If you are a global player, right, I believe you guys have not yet gotten... Um, the new Battlefield fights, uh, the new Battlefield, the one with, uh, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, can be very difficult because all of the bosses at the end of that Battlefield do a lot of damage to you with their super attacks. So the whole strategy behind that Battlefield, um, is to, uh, do as many, um, seals as possible. Sealing is, is sort of the go-to. All right, um, damn, this is kind of a shame. I'd really like to leave, maybe we could here, hold on. What, what I want to do is hopefully um, we do not finish off, I, I, I would like to leave at least two of the metal coolers around, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens right here. Um, if, if we can leave two of the metal coolers around, we could see Piccolo next turn with all the support and then also see him... Um, with his, uh, you know, basically all, all of Piccolo's defense and stuff like that. Okay, so as long as the gods at the end don't go absolutely crazy, this Krillin, not really too much of a concern. It's just as long as the, the gods in that last slot don't go super crazy. Oh, he got a crit. Krillin, no! Oh, yeah, Kr remember, Krillin does get buffs against movie boss enemies. And Krillin did fit. Are you kidding me? Krillin got the additional and finished them. No, Krillin. Come on. No, Krillin. All right, let's uh, let's get. Oh, okay. This will be good because th this will be Piccolo. He doesn't have the buff active. Uh, the fifty percent he gets for three turns. Let's see what damage Piccolo does right here without that buff. Uh, Two point nine eight. So, damage wise, you know, he he is losing quite a bit of damage um, from not getting that because uh, that's an exponential buff, right? The uh, like the uh, attack and defense from receiving an attack. Sort of a different phase there, but uh, pretty good overall. I'd say this Piccolo unit is very strong. Oh, one other thing he does, too, I should mention. He gives himself one key and 200% attack and even to the start of turn. So that one key is, you know, just extra key he has. But he also gives himself two key because of the support, right? He gives super class allies two key 30% defense. Um, and then extra 30% attack for super class allies if there's an extreme class enemy. So him giving himself all that extra key, I think, certainly is pretty useful. So all in all, Piccolo is very good. All right, guys, let's go fight Red Zone Cooler, and we'll see how well Piccolo can perform. Um, this will be useful, because I'll be able to bring the... Nice, we got him turn one. I did want that. Um, we'll be able to bring the Goku family buffing support memory here 
um, strengthen up some of these Gokus, and then that won't affect Piccolo. Yes, we can put Piccolo right into the thick of things right away. This will be good. So, remember, Piccolo, right? Er, uh, okay, okay. This cooler is the hardest hitting boss turn one. I, I don't think that there's another boss in the game that's hitting harder turn one outside of like some of the extreme super battle road bosses. So like Goku family, extreme super battle road, the third fight, right? Like the damage that that like int Vegeta could do, right? Like turn one, like that would be, I think the only thing. Um, all right, this will work. We'll put the gods in slot one right here. Um, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't. It, okay, okay. I, I'm just trying to get our, like, key and stuff like that situated properly, but it doesn't matter. Let's do this. All right, so Piccolo. Let's see how you do against uh, Cooler again. This is probably the hardest-hitting boss. Oh, well, no, he is the hardest-hitting boss, turn one. Again, outside of, like... Okay, well, there's the super attack. Yeah, God damn it. <clears throat> and he stunned them. Damn it. Well, all right. Uh, Piccolo should be fine. So, remember that the first hit... We might take damage, but any subsequent hits outside of the first one, we should be completely good against. Let's see this. So, okay, that's still at double digits, and then, yeah, these other attacks are not going to do anything to him. Uh, so that's... A unit like Piccolo will be really helpful um, in this type of fight, right, against these really difficult bosses, because Piccolo will actually be able to take these hits, right? Whereas many characters these days really cannot handle the pressure, um that these types of bosses put out okay let's do this uh yeah we'll have uh, the lr super saiyan 4s go in slot one right there we can have goku do that right there oh this is a beautiful turn the way the key just like flowed to us right there beautiful able to get max stacks and power for all the characters here i think we should win pretty handily here um i did bring what i bring ghost ushers so we could use ghost ushers if need be um, and then, uh, we could always, um, uh, potentially revive with Goku, right? Get Goku's revive and then finish off this cooler. Um, but yeah, Piccolo is an outstanding unit, right? Do not sleep on him. Do not think he's not going to be able to dom- He'll be able to dominate the entire game, right? The ceiling, you got, again, global players will see. This Piccolo will be a godsend, um, for Dokkan Battlefield. Uh, that seal will be very handy. Um, uh, you know, any super battle road stages you want to use him in, he'll be very effective in there. Uh, easy A's, red zone, like Piccolo will actually be good everywhere. And then Piccolo, of course, is going to be really crazy um, once we're able to use him alongside the um, uh, movie movie units, the superhero mo movie units. Because uh, I'm pretty certain that, you know, Orange Piccolo, Power Awakening Piccolo, Beast Gohan, these characters um, are probably going to have a very similar link set to what Piccolo is putting out right there, so... It's gonna be very interesting, right? I'm telling y'all, like, it, like this Piccolo is is like looking pretty good. But if we get, you know, Brainiacs and the Mechian Gaze of Respect activated, that's a huge, huge amount of extra defense for a character that's already guarding um, and has damage reduction too. Just a, a silly character. Um, let's put him right in the thick of things. Let's see how we do um, right here. This is perfect. Uh, I do want him to super attack though. Damn. Okay, I guess I do have to do that right there. It's fine. Um, and we can give the gods... Yeah, we'll, we'll give the LR gods this key right here. The gods should be able to finish off Cooler right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we should be able to finish Cooler off. Then we get, we can use PyCon's active skill next turn right here. All right, so yeah, Piccolo, man. One reason this, this is so tough, Cooler has very um, difficult type coverage, actually, for a fight. Because you do want to bring a lot of physical units. Um right uh to uh match up against his final phase but you also kind of want to bring some tech characters right to handle this agl cooler who you know again as i mentioned is the hardest hitting like turn one boss in the game but if you bring too many tech characters to do well against this cooler um you're gonna end up in a situation where you have way too many tech characters against the int cooler right who hits similarly to omega shenron so you have to really keep that in mind okay so, yeah, I think we'll just uh, go ahead and make use out of PyCon's active skill. Um, I guess we could go ahead and play the animation. Sure, sure. Everyone loves PyCon's active skill, right? Beautiful. Probably didn't even really need to use it, but whatever. Um... 
yeah, we, we could do this right here. Uh, we can get some, we can greedily get some extra stacks in, um, for PyCon, or, um, excuse me, for the LR Super Saiyan 4s, right? Uh, that'll be good against this cooler. LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, of course, one of the stronger units we could use here, um, against this, uh, cooler boss, right? Cooler... Is he harder than Omega? He might be. He Cooler actually might be a harder fight than Omega, now that I think about it. Because it's like, a Cooler's normals don't hit as hard as Omega, but his super attack... I, I don't know, maybe not, because Omega does have that annoying first phase, but I think Cooler is probably not too far behind the Omega fight. I think if I had to list these red zone fights, Bully's the toughest. I might put Omega at 2. Um, I might put Cooler 3, then like Bojack 4. Maybe Red Zone Freeze at, like, 5 or something like that. The thing about Red Zone Freeze is the fight just goes on so long that you have plenty of time to build up stacking characters um, to do a little bit better towards the end of that fight, right? So that certainly is something that could help you out a lot. All right, PyCon, not bad. Okay, so we got a beautiful turn right here. This is the Piccolo Showcase, so... Uh, I'm not actually going to stack with them because I do want to get the extra... I, I, I want to start damaging him, so I'm going to do that. Uh, we're going to put Piccolo in slot 1. Again, we, we want to see how Piccolo is going to be able to, to handle this. I'll be able to get all these... Uh, we could get the tech orbs for them, sure. Alright, Piccolo, show us what you got. This is him with only Fierce Battle activated. Oh, the super tax. Right? Oh, <laughs> yes, dude. It, oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Alright, he took 66k right there. Um, but that's, you know, we're activating his, uh, passive right there. So, wow, cool it hits that hard. I mean, yeah, but now it's, yeah, perfect. Okay, well, this cooler is, you know, one of the toughest bosses in the game. It feels good. You know, I'm sure that people saw my build on Piccolo and they wrote their angry comment. Don't y'all listen to this moron, Dokkan brain rot idiot. And it's like, by the end of the video, I'm showing y'all, yeah, well, there's, that's why we dodge. You know, Cooler would have did damage. We would not have, I don't, we would not have died if Piccolo got hit by that. But, I mean, that might have saved us 300k damage or some shit like that, right? Like, uh, there's a reason. I'm not just throwing random bullshit out, right? Dodge, dodge works on a lot of characters. I would not put dodge on this character right here, hell no. But, uh, you know, I, I'll three dodge, sure, but... I'm not going to give them full dodge. Maybe, I don't know, maybe once they've completely fallen off later on, perhaps. I don't know. But, like, that's not a character I put dodge on. But a character like Piccolo, uh, you bet your asshole we're putting dodge on him. Do we have... Oh, yeah. Well, this wasn't really too bad, was it? All right, buddy boy. Uh, let's go ahead and blast your asshole inside open. <laughs> you like them crits, playboy? Ha, 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 ha. Uh, burn in hell, cooler. <laughs> oh, God, Gogeta. That boy's too raw. All right, GG, easy. Uh, well, hmm. Not a lot of rainbow orbs at the end here. Oh, no, we're good. All right, so there we go. Yeah, nice. That was, that. was Okay, that was perfect. That was a nice little clean run. Goku dodged that, so he's not going to be super effective against all types. Wait, no. <laughs> the dodge didn't work out on this one right here. He's gonna crit anyway, it's all good. Yeah, exactly. Boo, we just crit anyway. That was perfect, dude. This was like a soft no item run right there. It's not a technical no item run since we did um use the Goku family support memory, but I mean it didn't really do too much for us, right? My boy Piccolo. Go to Co. Beautiful Piccolo. <laughs> nice, man. That was well done. That was that was a fun little run. That's why. Listen, your defense and support units, don't be scared to put dodge on them. I'm telling y'all this. All right, this is Valiant Confrontation Piccolo. His leader skill is the movie hero category, key 3 and 130% of stats. His super attack is the Mystic Attack, which raises attack and defense by 30% for one turn. He does supreme damage, and then he seals enemy super attack. His passive skill, Flexible Strategy, gives him one key and 200% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he guards all attacks. Now, one thing that is very important you guys understand, nowadays, guarding alone is actually not enough, right? You need other stuff. Like, guard is a great, like, starting point for a lot of tough characters, but you do need more instances of defense and stuff like that because these bosses are just hitting so hard. 
right? But Piccolo, does, he does guard, but then we get a lot extra, which allows him to really take advantage of that guard, right? So Piccolo also gets 50% attack and defense and a medium chance, a 30% chance to crit for three turns after he receives an attack. Then he gets additional damage reduction of 15% per movie hero category ally attacking in the same turn when guard is activated. So the very first attack he gets, he does not have the damage reduction activated, I believe. And then after you either take the first hit or dodge, right? Because it's just when guard is activated. So if you dodge, it counts. Um, you know, then he is able to get that damage reduction, right? So uh, he could be very, very impressive if, you know, you dodge and then you get your damage reduction and he eats a super attack or something like that. We, we saw a good display of uh, how I feel about this character again in that cooler fight. So it's fine. Uh, Piccolo then gives super class allies two key 30% defense. And then another 30% attack for super class allies if there's an extreme class enemy. He gets another 50% attack and defense against one enemy. And then 100% defense against two or more enemies. Um, I, I mean, the 100% defense is fine. I really wish Dokkan would understand that that literally is pointless. If you're going to give a character defense against multiple enemies, right? That's like, to me, I'm, I'm reading that as like help for like Super Battle Road. I mean, thematically, Piccolo was fighting Cooler's Armored Squadron, right? So, like, that's why. But, like, give a unit... Like, 100% defense against two or more enemies does nothing. Giving them 40% damage reduction against two or more enemies. That would have been a better use of that. Or any subsequent characters in the future, right? Like, Raditz gets extra defense against multiple enemies. Who cares? It doesn't do anything. It's, it's not that big of a deal, right? Give them, like, damage reduction or something like that against multiple enemies. That's the better way to do that. Uh, Piccolo's links are Brainiacs, Prodigies, Experienced Fighters, Solid Support, Namekians, Gaze of Respect, and Fierce Battle. 12Q Multiplier is 140%. Uh, in terms of easy A's, uh, he would be good against, I guess, Physical Second Form Frieza, and that's pretty much it. Uh, in terms of uh, fights like that to help you get Zenny. Um, and finally, our boy Piccolo's categories. Uh, he, of course, is on the movie hero team, which, again, hello, hello, hello. Any day now. We'll see. We'll see, right? Uh, then, of course, he's also on the Namekian team, which is going to get a massive buff with the movie stuff. Very excited for that. Uh, Piccolo's also on Worthy Rivals, another team that's going to get a massive buff with the movie stuff. Beautiful. Uh, then Piccolo is here on the Bond of Master and Disciple category team. A nice little addition to that. Uh, then Piccolo is down here on the Battle of Wits category. A nice little addition there. Oh yeah, Piccolo might be kind of handy in that stage too. That just got a, um, a Super Battle Road stage, Battle of Wits, right? Uh, then Piccolo is on Connected Hope as well. Nice, that's good. Um, Connected Hope, small shitty team. Any strong units we get there is very helpful. Uh, then Piccolo is also on the Gifted Warrior category team. Um, and then finally, Piccolo is on the Fused Fighter category, right? Remember, all of the, you know, Orange Piccolo, Piccolo Power Awakened, all these Piccolo characters are going to be on the Fused Fighter category because of Nail and Kami. So that's going to be pretty cool to see. So let me know what you guys think of this Piccolo. He is a god. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.